assembling a protein, a step-by-step -step process. Polypeptides begin their life as growing linear sequences of amino acids. This linear sequence is known as the primary structure of the polypeptide. A typical polypeptide is synthesized in aqueous solution, and extended conformation is often not energetically favorable. The polypeptide will begin to fold up onto itself. Because of the basic structure of the polypeptide bond, two types of folds are particularly stable and easy to form, the alpha helix and the beta sheet. The pattern of alpha helix and beta sheet structure in a polypeptide is commonly known as the secondary structure of the polypeptide. Often the polypeptide then folds into compact domains. In turn, these domains are arranged in space. They form the polypeptide's tertiary structure. A protein is a functional entity and may consist of more than one polypeptide chain and more than one type of polypeptide chain. In addition, it may contain non-polypeptide components, metal ions, molecules like chlorophyll or hemoglobin or retinol. How these chains are arranged is the protein's quaternary structure. So here are two questions. How would you define the difference between a polypeptide and a protein? And a protein can interact with a number of other proteins. How would you describe such an interaction network?